Good morning. I slept through my alarm, so I'm running late. I'm gonna pack lunch and I'm eating a bagel. Um, I've prioritized food over wearing makeup or anything today. I'm not gonna bother. I have to leave in like 20 minutes. <sighs> Just had like the morning briefing. I'm so tired, so I came out to the shop right outside and got a monster because I don't think I'm gonna make it through the day if I don't. Anyway, head back in now. It's 12 now. We have another lecture at one until two, and then another lecture at like two till three. <laughs> Hey guys, I got home a little bit ago. I got some food in the oven, super hungry. Last thing I ate was sandwich and a Mars bar. Yeah, I'm gonna have something to eat. I'll probably watch some Arrested Development. No stream tonight. And then if I can manage to get in the right mindset, I think I'm gonna do a bit of reflecting on my art and the kind of direction I wanna go in. Our assignment now is well, we have like a presentation coming up in like a week or two. It's just going to be in our tutor groups. So just like a small group of people I need to put together a presentation on research, uh, which comes at a really great time, actually, because I feel like I need to sit down and think about what I'm doing and what I want to look into more. Like, for example, so yeah, if after I've eaten, I, I feel like I can gather my myself and pay attention to that kind of thing that's what i'll try and do my dinner today is onion rings that i burnt fish frozen fish and peas and i have some tartar sauce you know I'd, I'd be happy to let you play that give me the soup give me the soup i didn't say that don't hold me to that i won't and i appreciate it. my mother is on her way up here and, and she's uh <laughs> I remember how I recorded earlier and I said that hopefully once I'm done eating I'm watching a Laurie Lane video um she's playing Outlast Trials <laughs> hopefully I after I finish eating I'm gonna get straight to working on some art doing some research um preparing for my presentation and such I didn't do that I have truly and honestly spent the last four also hours doom scrolling on my phone You're just endlessly scrolling and switching between apps and refreshing pages for hours hours i don't understand how it's 12 a.m now it's midnight my entire evening just like disappeared like right in front of me like i had it and now i'm here and it's gone it doesn't feel like it's been four hours whatsoever <sighs> So I'm really annoyed at myself, um, I'm really disappointed in myself because I really should go to bed now. I'm still awake because my schedule was so fucked up. Mind you, I don't have to go into uni until one o'clock tomorrow so I can sleep in a little bit. My mind is really hard to work with lately, in general. <laughs>
now here. I came to a shopping centre because I need to get some socks. I don't even know if you can hear me right now. I'm kind of busy. I've seen it worse though. Yeah, so I'm gonna get some stuff and I'll catch up in a bit. stuff I needed. Now I'm wondering if I want to do like a little bit of window shopping. Um, I'm really hungry though so I, I might get food but I don't know. I might just wait till I get home. But would like to remind you to please take you could see there's like a bubble tea place. I haven't had bubble tea in ages so. There's a place outside here. It's like part of Westfield, but it's outside. I think it's literally called the street, and it does food uh, from like I think from like you know like food vans and that kind of thing. So I, I think I might like go out that way and get something from there to get something to eat. I remember maybe they're kind of closed up there's some wings might get some wings and there's also churros that smell so good so I'm kind of tempted to just get churros even though it's not exactly dinner I don't know we'll see I'm walking back down now I walked like to the top and now I'm walking back down saw a tiny little mouse right there and then it ran away before I could get my camera out. I need your help. I got home. I took off my pants. I'm sitting inside my hoodie. I put my heater on. I'm just sitting in front of my heater, warming up, and I'm going on my phone, and I'm scrolling, and I open my camera, start talking to try and snap myself out of it. 
I'm getting hot now. <laughs> it's fucking time my heat off. And I think I'm just gonna put my phone aside and try not to touch it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> you really helped. <laughs> Okay, I got up and I tidied up a bit and I put on a CJU video. It feels so good to have stopped when I did. That could have gone on for way longer. I do not want to repeat of what happened yesterday. It's almost 8 p.m. Let's see, things that I could do. I kind of feel like I just need to sort of like charge some thoughts about art and like what I'm doing at uni and identity and stuff like that. I've been feeling like I've worked really hard to um, sort of compartmentalize and separate my identity. It, in a way it's been good, but now I'd like to sort of unify myself a bit more. Like the part of me that is like online and the part of me that now feels very offline, like um, going into uni and doing and doing work. I feel sort of detached. Like when I go to uni, I feel weirdly like non-existent because it feels like there's kind of like things happening for me online. Obviously, I occupy an incomprehensibly small portion of the internet but like my account has been growing i'm at almost 50,000 followers now which feels surreal and also not really true because i believe that when after that video of mine it's now at like six million views um yeah a lot of the people who follow from that i don't think they're gonna be like active participators in my content so it kind of doesn't even really feel like I've I just gained 10,000 more followers because my engagement is still low I don't really remember what my initial point was I just I don't know I have a lot of thoughts and I need to journal and it's like I kind of want to combine like my my creative self with my online persona my carapones because some of the stuff I'm posting on there it just doesn't feel like me and it feels kind of empty and I want to do better, I guess. Like, I don't feel particularly proud of my content at the moment. And then as I could also do some editing, so if I find myself having time to do that, that'd be good. Anyway, I kind of almost don't want to, like, stop recording because I'm scared that I'm just going to slip straight back into scrolling. Hey. <laughs> hey. By the way, I think I'm gonna grow out my fringe. I've had the micro fringe for a while now. I always do this. I have fun with it for a bit and then I just wanna do something different and I wanna like play with the length of a fringe. Not like, I will still have a fringe. I think I'm just gonna like, it'd be cool to have little like curtains. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, fine. I'll do some work now. Bye. I completely forgot about my tea. I made tea and I totally forgot and now it's... No, it's not searingly hot. I must reheat it.
I haven't really eaten anything today apart from those wings. So I know it's like 12 o'clock at night, but I'm gonna make myself something to eat quickly. Um, maybe some rice. Oh. Yep, that's right. My dinner today is just rice and beans. Let that be an indicator of who I am and how we function and more specifically how I struggle to function. It's food. It's more than one food. And I mixed it together and to me that is quite elaborate. So <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna eat it and I'm, then I'm not gonna be hungry anymore. That's what food is supposed to do, right? Why do we need all these different ingredients, herbs, spices? I just want to not be hungry and I don't want it to taste like complete shit. <laughs> yeah, it's just sustenance, really. I'm gonna sit here and eat my rice and beans <laughs> and watch some Arrested Development. And you're gonna sit right here and watch me. Michael oh. went looking for Joe. I'm so He's locked on the balcony. Oh, you meant dating my best friend. Tension had been high between the two Lucilles since Buster had announced he'd been dating True Fields. Mom, you're ruining our fort. I mean, she's been a family <laughs> friend for you. Christ. <laughs> you're the only child who chose his <laughs>
had to move away from the sofa onto the desks because I was getting too sleepy. <laughs> um, they have these little like comfy sofa seating areas in the library um, and I sat there for a bit and watched some videos but I was kind of just falling asleep <laughs> um, so yeah I kind of sat here for a bit instead I like the way they have these privacy dividers um, there's like more on either side of the library and then there are areas where you don't have to be so silent like these are the complete like silent areas um, but there are other parts where you can like work in groups and stuff I like it in the library I like um, getting work done in there it really helps me concentrate and now I'm heading home um, it's a pretty quick walk to the train station get a couple of trains. Um, I'm getting used to it now. I remember I was really nervous about my commute before I moved. While I was still preparing for starting this course um, and I knew I was living quite far away. But it's been okay, especially if I can miss rush hour, which I do my best to do. Um, and then I just read on the train. Oh, I saw this bug outside my apartment building. I don't know what the heck that is. Anyway, <laughs> heading back up to my place now. Hey guys, just got home. I wanted to take these boots off because they always give me um, blisters at the back of my heel. Not always, actually. That's why it surprises me when it does. But yeah, I think I'm gonna eat heat up those rice and beans from yesterday <laughs> and then I would like to stream actually um, because I've kind of got time and haven't streamed for a couple days <laughs> so yeah have you been hope you've been having a good day I had a pretty good day today tell me about your day what did you do Oh, no way. What? You're so cool. You're so cool. That's crazy. It's <laughs> crazy. That sounds like a really good day. Deep. Okay, bye. I want to say hello to the vlog. You're going to be a part of my vlog. And it's going to be... Uh, I'm thinking of posting it on YouTube, so not like a Ko-Fi exclusive. Um, so I've been, yeah, I'm doing like a week in my life as a UAL student. There you are, there you all are, saying hello. So today I had uni. Wednesday we, we have like tech rotations, like inductions of the like technical workshops. Like, um, so remember I was telling you I had like woodworking and Oh my god, this morning I was so annoyed at myself because I have dyscalculia. I just don't fully understand numbers when I see them. I knew I had to be in at 10.30. Um, it's quite confusing as well because with uni, sometimes I have to be in at 11, sometimes I have to be in at 1, sometimes 10.30. So I don't have this like, okay, I know that to get to uni on time every day I need to leave at this time. Because it changes, I have to every single time try and calculate what time I need to leave, what time I need to wake up. And last night I was like calculating, well, it takes me an hour to get to uni, so I'm gonna leave at whenever. But but I'm not, I, I know that I'm accounting for like, I should leave like an, a half an hour earlier. So I thought I was leaving half an hour earlier by leaving at like half nine. And I really thought I'd done it. I was like, yeah, half nine, gonna be there 10.30. I don't know what I was thinking. Like I was literally at home, I was still eating my bagel, like not even half nine yet. And I was like, yeah, cool, I'm on time. It was only when I was walking towards my bus, I was like, wait, no, this is all wrong. I'm gonna be really late. I'm gonna be like half an hour late. So I was incredibly frustrated this morning. I was like really upset, but now here's where it gets fun. So I go into uni and I go to the metal workshop. There was no one there. 
Um, there were people for the casting, because they're like next to each other, like casting and metal. So I, I asked the people in casting and they were like, oh no, sorry, like metal's already gone. I was like, oh, okay. I sort of hovered around for a little bit. And I was like, well, this is it, I've got, I've got to go. So I left and I started to walk out of the campus and as I was, as I was about to leave campus, I just, because there were like two e exits to the workshops and I went around and then I came back past the first exit and I was like, why don't I just go in again one more time just to see if there's someone there. I'm sure you can already see where this is going. And so I went in and as I like came through the door, one of the metalworking people came out and they were like, you here for the workshop? And I was like, yes, I know I'm really late, I'm so sorry. And I arrived just in time for them to start the actual like practical work. Like I had missed a little bit of a, just a little like tour. I got to use the guillotine. I got to use a hole punch, <laughs> like a, for a like sheet metal hole punch. The thing, like a bending thing, you put the metal in and then you lift it up and it bends it. I just realized I was supposed to leave this in my studio, but now I can show you this actually. <laughs> This is what I made today. Actually, I'm kind of glad I didn't drop it off in the studio because now I can show you. Um, I don't know. There's no like plan of what it is. It's just something. I just wanted to use all the different things. So these were all just like flat pieces of sheet metal. And then you can put them in this thing and they and you like bend them. And then I curved this one and I put holes in them. So yeah, I was supposed to leave this in my studio because it's a very awkward thing to have in my bag. But I have to leave it there tomorrow. 30 seconds left of the hype train, if anyone wants to go absolutely crazy, I forgot, I always forget to keep an eye on the hype train. Hey guys, I finished stream and I went and brushed my teeth and I put on incense, I put on some candles, and I sat on my bed and I kind of got stuck on TikTok for a little bit. Uh, I, I, it feels like lost time when i do that like i feel like i go into another dimension and when i'm out of it i don't remember it anymore like, like i go into like a fugue state um when i get stuck in the in those tiktok instagram paralysis moments um <laughs> i would describe it how people describe uh their claims of alien abduction that's what it feels like to me and i hate it i really hate how it feels uh, luckily, I snapped out of it. It also uh, feels incredibly familiar. Like the feeling once I've like come out of it, that relief, like the weight. I I feel like I was confined and now I'm like free. Um, it feels very similar to when I was having really bad dermatillomania where I just couldn't stop picking and squeezing and scratching my skin for like three hours. It's, it's a similar feeling, a really similar experience. Cause I, it's just this feeling of like, I don't want to be doing this right now. I don't want this. I'd rather like, I've got these books next to me. I wanted to lay down here and read a book. Um, I don't want to scroll on TikTok and Instagram. Why do I look like that? Why do I look like I'm having an allergic reaction? Why does my face look swollen? I had to actually end stream early because my internet fucked, got fucked. My upload was at like three megabytes. Wow. That didn't go anywhere near my bin. Three megabytes. A second. I even though I've got a new, new package, new hub internet's still being a cunt to me download is fine it's just upload and i'm pretty sure i'm the only one who's having the problem because it's just streaming um that it that it fucks with so i don't know anyway it's gonna be it for today i've been really enjoying this you know us hanging out it's really been quite nice every day the end of every day like just checking in and having a chat it's actually it's been quite a nice way of connecting with myself maybe i should meditate again that felt really nice yesterday but yeah it's just it's just been nice sort of like checking in with myself and um reflecting on my day 
Oh uh, yeah, okay. Good night. See you tomorrow. half 11 I need to leave at half 12 obviously I slept in a bit because I had some time I just feel so groggy and so I was like oh should I have a shower I just couldn't be bothered and <laughs> I feel like I'm getting my period um so I kind of feel like shit and I don't know if it's like this for anyone else but like I like having a shower <laughs> But I hate how it feels afterwards, like I hate being like soaking wet and like I get cold when I step out of the shower and our bath mat is always fucking like drenched, soaking wet and I just, uh, it's such a horrible like sensory experience for me. Um, I do shower, I do shower, I'm just saying but like well, I didn't bother today. Maybe I shouldn't be saying this. Maybe this is gross, but I don't shower every day. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel so weird this morning. I'm just gonna get ready, go to uni. I don't even feel like eating. I don't know. This is a store that's inside the uni, um, so you can pick up whatever stuff you need. I needed some more glue, so I got some of that. And our task for this workshop was to make something based off of AI generated images, so those ones you just saw, I'm now gonna try and make something inspired by that. Um, it came out pretty loosely inspired. I knew that I wanted to use these like plastic clear tubes. Uh, that was like the important thing for me and um, I kind of threw something together. About your, your what you're doing. All right. This is my beetle painting. Mm -hmm. This is the underpainting, mm -hmm. and um, it's my favorite color, the cerulean blue. It's a very nice in blue. the whole world. Like just, it's so. That is a good blue. Yeah, it makes me calm. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> that's my work for today. It took me like half an hour, and I'm going home. And we're we'll having some Yeah, so. thanks for the edamame. So good. Thanks for being in the vlog. I have to get like guac, sour cream, mm. cheese. Mm. Like I never get a dry burrito. I just took it tonight. What have you done to me? Well, actually, I was the one that brought this up, so. <laughs> yeah, you are. What do show. you have to cook? I have, well, nothing that's like essential to cook today. But I'm going to rest tomorrow and I'm coming back uh, on Sunday. I have salmon, so it's like, do I want 
four day old salmon or three day old salmon. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a fair point. Again, getting some more work done in the library. I realised that this week I, there's not been a lot of art making um, because it's more stuff I've needed to do on my like, Padlet, which is kind of like the online studio resource that we use to upload work and research and stuff like that. Um, so I've been like writing a lot and kind of researching things and making plans and not as much actual practically making work. And now I am heading into Victoria. Um, I have to get the Victoria line anyway, but I usually go a different stop. But I came here to Cardinal Place. I actually didn't mean to go here. <laughs> um, I came out of the wrong part of Victoria Station, uh, but I needed some toothpaste, so I just took the opportunity to get some. Whenever I do get off at Victoria, I treat myself to some wasabi because there's one here in the station and I particularly enjoy this one because another one nearby puts like salad um, in the tofu curry, which is what I get every single time. Every time, tofu curry is one of my favourite meals ever, specifically from this place. And no salad. Just tofu, just rice, just curry. It's so fucking good. <laughs> and I just sit here and have my little hot meal. It was really cold in there. Um, so this was really nice. I'm so tired. Uh, why does my whole body ache? Oh, I slide my period. <laughs> why does my back hurt and my knees hurt and my ankles? I got my period today. I did think I would in the morning. I was like, mm, something doesn't feel right. So the second workshop we had was not really, it was just making work basically so i just went to my studio like i left the group went back to my studio made a well you saw because i recorded it <laughs> and then i kind of took it back and we all presented what each of us made and we talked a little bit more about ai and our thoughts about it and he didn't really tell us what we're going to be doing next time just got in and it's 10 o'clock uh yeah, I think I'll just get cozy, take my makeup off, get comfortable, get in bed, honestly, um, and read more. Those are my plans. I hope you're having a good night. And I don't have uni tomorrow, so I don't know if I'll vlog anything, because I'm not sure what I'll end up doing tomorrow.
I need to take a painkiller. No, I can't do this. Hey, good morning. I mean, I'm just getting out of bed now, and it's 1 p.m. Um, I must have been really tired, really tired from this week. Mmm, don't like that feeling. Don't like getting out of bed at 1. But anyway, I haven't been asleep that whole time. I've just been on my phone for like an hour or so. So yeah, I'm gonna get up and maybe go outside, just have a little walk. Um. I made a couple of sales on my Etsy store and I've taken far too long to get to shipping them. I'm really sorry. Um, I'm thinking of closing my store just because I keep doing this. Um, I get orders and I don't know why I just don't get round to it um, and I feel really bad and it just stresses me out. <sighs> I did it. Really happy with myself. Those were things I needed to do for a while, and I did them. So within the next couple of weeks, I think, I'll be registered at the GP, and then I posted, I went to the post office, so glad I got that done. We're gonna be out all day because Kew Gardens is um obviously you know it's like a botanical garden it's outside so we're gonna get pretty chilly so I need to wear something that's gonna keep me warm to be honest I, d I haven't met everyone on my course um I've only had actual interactions with people in my tutor group the ones that I am t like seeing every now and then they're like so much younger than me that I feel a bit weird about making friends with them our tutor said at like the start of this when we had like our very first lecture kind of introducing us to the course he was like you're gonna meet people here that you're gonna be friends with for life and I was like watch and see watch and see and go sleep okay clutch sleep well that is the end of the vlog um I'm actually recording this voiceover on the 30th of December. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve and we'll be seeing in 2024. Um, it's taken me a long time to finalize this vlog, uh, edit it all, um, but I finally did it. <laughs> I hope this was enjoyable to watch. I had a lot of fun making it. It really did help me sort of, like I was saying, connect with myself and like reflect on my day and I would love to do it again, I'd love to make more stuff like this. Um, I've been thinking about how I feel about making content and uh, lately things I've been doing on platforms like Instagram, the short form, you know, short reels, 30 second reels. and. Um, I don't know if it's actually that enjoyable or rewarding for me um, and I haven't been doing it much lately anymore. Uh, I have a lot of thoughts about that that I won't get into right now. <laughs>
but maybe I should get more into vlogging like this. Um, more long form stuff, stuff that's a bit more personal and a bit more meaningful. So let me know what you thought about it and if you enjoyed it and if you'd like to see more vlogs like this from me. Uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, see you again soon, bye. Happy New Year!